Hey guys, this is Hershey here from Road to Safety Driving School. Welcome to my channel. And today's video is all about observations during the driving test. So how to perform your observations, blind spot checks correctly during a driving test, during your drive and during your maneuvers. Hey guys, welcome to Hershey's Road to Safety Driving School channel. Here you will get lots of information on learning to drive and how to pass your driving test. If you like my content, please subscribe and turn on notifications for timely updates. Let's get on to the video. So I'm going to tell you a few things. First of all, I'm going to pull out of the curb and first things first, most people miss how to do a blind spot check. So blind spot check, pulling out of the curb, checking our mirrors, checking the middle mirror, checking the rear view mirrors and I'm going to check my shoulder and I'm gonna pull out. So that's the perfect way to do a blind spot check. So whenever you're doing your blind spot check, then what you're looking for is, is there any car which is right next to you? So how can you check that? You can check cars in the mirror, but the cars which are right next to you, you cannot see in that mirror. So for that, it is very essential to do a blind spot check. It is also, um, it is also called an observation check and during your driving test you could be marked down for not doing a blind spot check because it is part of the safe driving and it is one of the very important skills to acquire. Now moving forward, what other places you have to do your blind spot checks? Um, every time you're changing your lane, so changing your lane means whenever you're moving from one lane to another. So for example, you're driving in a left lane, now you want to go right further ahead, you're moving into the, you want to move into the right lane. So if you want to move first things first, turn on your blinker. There's no time limit to turn on the blinker. Just, just turn on your blinker, check your mirrors. Is there anyone coming behind you? No, there's no one coming behind you. So. Uh, last things immediately prior to moving into the changing the lanes is you do a blind spot check and the best way and the perfect way to do it is chin chin to shoulder like this and not just to show off it is actually very important in practice even though the cars these days have a blind spot monitoring in their cars does not matter we still have to do a blind spot check during our driving test and that is one of the very main issues on which people fell on. Now I'm going to make a left turn from this intersection. So I will do my blind spot check here as well. The reason why is I was a bit far from the curb and I was not very close to the curb. That's not an issue. You, you don't really have to drive in the gutter. But if you are trying to make a left turn and if you have enough space for a car, at least a half a car width which can fit in between curb and your car, you should do a blind spot check. Again, blind spot check, observation check. You can only do two blind spot errors during the test. The moment you do the third one, third strike, and that's a foul. That becomes a foul item test. So you've got to be mindful. Observations are really important. Now, another place we would like you to do an observation or a blind spot check is when you are doing your maneuvers. So maneuvers means reverse parallel park, reverse parallel park. So what you're doing is reversing a car, which is where you put your car into the reverse gear. You have to check back through the back window. I know most cars got cameras these days, but no, that does not work. You still have to check physically moving your head all the way to the back and look through the back window of your car. And when you are reversing back while doing that you've got to check through your right shoulder as well this way why why would you have to do that because when you are in a crooked position when your car is moved this way when you swivel your car there could be someone coming from the front because or there could be someone behind you who wants to go around you and they are they are very impatient so you need to know there's no one around you there might be in that time there might be some cyclist around you there might be some pedestrian around you so you have to be mindful you got to do that blind spot check you got to check your observation you go have to check that observation so that you can continue with your maneuver curbside stop why would you do a blind spot check in a curbside stop pulling over towards the curb yes turn on your left indicator beautiful blind spot check and pull towards the curb now you're pulling out yes they do expect you to turn on the indicator as 
usual, it is expected you to turn on the indicator for at least 5 seconds. So 5 seconds, however you want to count it, it's up to you. So most testing officers will be counting it as 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005. But I usually tell people, you can take your boyfriend's name five times, you can take your own name five times, you can take your children's name five times, whatever way it works for you, it's, it has to be five times. So if I, if I will be doing it, I will be saying, Hershey, 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 and that should be five seconds. So that's my name actually. And uh, when you pull out, Five seconds signaling, pulling out of the curb. Of course, you're moving towards the right. Line spot check, chin to shoulder. If you don't have any pains and aches in your neck, so that is the perfect practice to do it. And expected, if you're doing it, the the guideline would be for yourself, for your uh, for yourself to do it clearly and properly, is try to look through the back window of your car the back window of your car that would be the easiest possible way now coming to another move, maneuver which is a three-pointer so when you'll be doing a blind spot check in a three-pointer yeah i'm trying to just get out and come onto the road yes i'm doing my blind spot check as you can see now three-pointer so what is three-pointer basically you are trying to make a u-turn on the street so we are not allowed to make legal u-turns in new south wales as we all know is whenever the u-turn is allowed it says u-turn permitted so here how how we will do a blind spot or an observation what is required to do a, a three-pointer so pull over to the curb again same as as you do next to the park car doing a reverse parallel park or a pedestrian uh, next to the curb while doing your curbside stop you gotta do your blind spot check pull over to the curb now you want to move your car to the right to move your car to the right again same same issue five second signaling so again the way i've already told you how to count the five second signaling so that is 1001 1002 1003 1004 1005 now now you're moving your car towards the right so when you're doing that you gotta turn your head again chin to shoulder no one is coming around you no one is trying to go around you is there anyone around you now no okay that's good then move your car to the right so again we are in the position where we are in the middle of the road so now we will be reversing back so reversing back again look back through the back window look to the left look to the right so why we have to look all those three sides because there could be someone walking from the left, there could be someone coming from the right, there could be anyone around us. Now, and after that, once you have reversed back, now your car's position is heading towards the opposite side because we were trying to make a three point turn. I was at the traffic lights just checking my observations at the traffic lights. I'll tell you about that as well. So, when you're doing a um, when you're pulling out again check your left check your right why again there could be someone walking around you while you were trying to make it go for you. let's talk about traffic lights now so when we are stopped at the red light and waiting for the lights to go green this is how we're supposed to be performing our observation Here we go we got the green light check left check right we're looking for pedestrians or people who want to run red lights or bike riders motorbike riders and emergency vehicles everything so if you want to go around this park car signal yeah head check head check um, and signal head check to come back so left signal head check come back head check. so this happens a lot during the wind days Wind trucks are always on the road and you have to do this to go around them. You cannot always wait behind them because so these are the main things where they will be looking for observations and these are the most important things and uh, as I said before there's three two strikes allowed two observation errors allowed and it's very easy is very very easy so you can add those up very easily so make
make sure you do it correctly and make sure you do it when it is required not just to show off i've seen many driving tests as you know my background was i was a testing officer in new south wales i hope this video has helped you if you like my channel please subscribe and turn on the notification bell for the timely videos there will be lots and lots of stuff coming you will you might not have to go to any driving instructor i can easily tell you everything how to pass your driving test in the first go so i'm look and i'll see you in the next video thanks and all the best for your driving test if it's coming anytime soon